No-shows are costing you money. Have you ever asked yourself this? How much does it cost me when I get a no-show? How do I prevent no-shows? Because guess what? It is very hard and almost impossible to stay in business if people aren't showing up to sales calls, if people aren't showing up to interviews. In this video, we're going to cover, obviously, we're going to cover how much no-shows are costing you, okay? How to deal with no-shows, how to increase your show up rate, and things you need to stop doing now to ensure more clients are showing up. Okay, now to understand how much no-shows are costing you, okay, let's first understand how much it costs you to get an appointment, okay? Now, if you factor in your lead generation, okay, if you factor in how much it is, if you're purchasing leads, how much it is to, to purchase a lead, your average cost per appointment should be between $45 and $80. Now, the reason why I say $45 and $80, I'm going to cover how I got those numbers towards the end of the video, but let's, let's assume... You have a 30% booking rate, right? And it's costing you, you know, 15 bucks uh, per lead, right? And let's say you spend $150 on a lead, you book three, those three leads, it costs you 450, uh, 45 bucks to book them because 15 leads, you're booking one out of every three leads, which means you are booking, it's costing about 45 bucks to pretty much book an appointment, right? And 80 bucks is just like, you know, let's say your booking ratio is, um, you know, 15% or 10%. Now it's more expensive to book an appointment. Now, whatever your booking numbers are, I, I highly recommend you go ahead and do the math. What you want to do is how many leads do you need to book one appointment? And then just multiply that, uh, those numbers to be able to get how much, uh, your lead is. okay. Now, if you run 10 appointments per day, let's say you want to run 10 appointments per day, or you're running 10 appointments per day, then it will cost you roughly 400 to $800 each day to fill up your calendar okay i'm gonna say this again if you're booking one out of three leads and each appointment's costing you 45 bucks so 10 appointments is what 45 times 10 which is 450 bucks per day to 800 per day is what it is costing you to fill up your calendar okay now if you have a 50 percent show ratio 50%. Listen, I'm a data guy. I'm a numbers guy. And I like to discuss the numbers. And that's exactly what we're doing going on right now. We're going to go through the numbers, right? If you have a 50%, let's say you have a 50% show ratio, then you lose about $225 to $400 per day. You're like, Emmanuel, where are you getting these numbers? My God, okay? You're telling me it's costing me $225 to $400 each day that I don't have an appointment? Um, Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it actually is. It, it actually is. Here's why. If it costs me $450 to fill up the, my calendar, okay, and out of me filling up my calendar, only five out of the 10 show up, what is 450 divided by two? Or what's 450% of 450? 225. Let's say it's costing you 800 bucks because you don't really know how to book appointments and you're booking, you know, one out of seven or one out of eight, and it costs you $800 to fill up your calendar, 50% of 800 is what? 400 bucks. Okay. Now, for those of you out here who are like, man, you're telling me I have to spend $450 to $800 to fill up my calendar if I'm with 10 appointments per day? Yeah, it, it costs money to make money. Now, um, these numbers, if you are just a traditional business, sounds outrageous and sounds insane. But if you look at the commission payout, you know, this is mostly um, if you like, let's say you're an insurance where, you know, one policy. It costs you one policy, which is roughly about a payout of eight hundred dollars per policy to fill up your calendar. Then, the, are you really losing money? No, because all you need to do is sell one policy to break even, and anything over one policy is pretty much in a profit range, right? These numbers are derived from my days of running insurance appointments because I didn't see that. Oh, it's costing me four fifty to eight hundred dollars to fill up an appointment. I said all I need to do is sell one policy each day to break even, and then anything over one policy is profit. Okay, that's how you need to look at it because most people look at the price value, but I don't necessarily look at it from a price value perspective. I like to look at it from a policy issued perspective. So, which means if you sell zero policies that day and you had 10 appointments, you lost 800 bucks or you lost 450 bucks. Okay, so you have to look at it from a perspective how many policies do I need to fill up my calendar? If your commission is high enough, I'm not going to dive into commission because then again, this is not a, uh, I'm not doing this video specifically for insurance agents. Uh, I have a bunch of marketers that are on this video as well. But if it's costing me $800 to fill up my calendar, $450 to fill up my calendar each day, then I just need to sell one to break even. Now, whatever it is that's in your business, run the numbers and see how much it costs you to fill up your calendar and then how many sales you need to make to break even daily, right? Now, how do you deal with 
and prevent no-shows because if it's costing me 225 to 400 dollars every time somebody you know every time you know uh, if i get a five out of ten uh, uh, no-show or you can say if it's costing me 45 bucks per appointment or 80 bucks per appointment every time someone doesn't show up it's a 45 dollar loss it's 80 dollar loss so you have to learn how to prevent it the short answer is you can't you can't prevent no shows you cannot prevent it here's why things happen things happen because guess what people have lives you know they might book an appointment with you next you know the cat dies next you know they they, they they something happens at work and then they don't show up things happen that's the reason why you cannot have just one appointment on your calendar you cannot have just one person on your schedule because if they don't show up you make no money no money none so that's why one appointment one is the loneliest number one the lonely i'm gonna say it again lonely loneliest number out there okay so that's why you need more more points on the calendar right but you can't get your short ratio to about 70 percent. okay so if your short ratio is 50 percent, okay you're like okay it costs me 225 or 400 every time you know uh, uh per day that's what i lose per day but obviously if i sell over one policy i break even all right good what about if your short ratio is 10 percent? you book 10 appointments one person show up the least of your worries is how much it's costing you. The most of your worries is you need to be worried about, hey, you know, if it's only one person that shows up, then that means my appointment setting skills sucks, right? So you need to go ahead and fix your appointment setting skills. Okay, so how do you get your show ratio, your show numbers up above whatever it's at right now? Because you have, if you have less than 70% show ratio, then your business is in trouble because guess what? You're losing losing money you need to get your show ratio up here's the thing i want to go ahead before i go ahead and proceed let's do a few let's touch on a few points a few base points and and, and these are the points i want to i want to touch on is i want to touch on the fact that if your show ratio and your show numbers are 30 percent your show numbers are 70 percent okay which we're going based off of show ratio 8 70 percent right that's in person that's in person. That's you actually going in the door, knocking on the door. Hey, hi, it's me and you're welcome. You know, to the to 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 I'm gonna be selling your policy today and finding out your needs. And I'm like, welcome, Emmanuel. Come on in. Let's go ahead and discuss how I'm going how we're gonna discuss this insurance policy today. Okay. If that, if it's a face-to-face, then show your seven percent is good. But if you're doing telesales or zoom sales, your show ratio is about 30 percent if not less the average close ratio for telesales is 13.75 percent i'm gonna say those numbers again 13.75 percent you want me to say it again the average close ratio which means somebody buying from you is 13 percent which means you need 10 appointments to sell one policy or 1.3 policies rather that's not a profitable number to me absolutely not that's the quickest way to go out of business unless you're selling a minimum of eight hundred dollars in what you're making per policy then it's all a matter of time for you to go out of business that's the reason why most agents will get into telesales i'm mean, just speaking to insurance agents or most people sell over the phone you need volume you need volume you need volume you need volume okay i'm gonna say that again okay now how do we get our show ratio above 70% for face to face and above 30% if I'm doing uh, presentations uh, on the phone or Zoom sales? Is yes, let's talk about first how a lead becomes an appointment on your calendar, right? How does how how do I become an appointment on your calendar, right? Did they automatically book themselves on your calendar or from your ad, or did 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 your appointment set it, or did you call them to book them, right? If they auto booked, which means if they booked they booked an appointment via, uh, 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 you know, you know, they went in, they filled the ad up, and then they went on your calendar, and then they booked an appointment, then you or someone from your team needs to call them and get them to confirm that they will be there at the time of the appointment. Now, while on the phone, before you end the call, before you talk to you, you're like, hey, Mary, hey, Mary, it's Emmanuel, hey, it's that insurance agent. You filled out the ad on Facebook, you wanted some more information on insurance. Yeah, I'm just calling to confirm your appointment here. I see you booked the time here for 4 p.m. Uh, on the 8th. Is that, does that sound about right? Yeah, yeah, okay, good. I just wanna make sure, I just wanna confirm a few things here. You know, uh, date of birth is this, emails this, all that's good stuff. Okay, perfect. So 
Um, now, for that appointment, you know, I'm going to be driving up there. So, just want to confirm a few things here. Uh, the color of the house so I don't get lost. Oh, it's okay. It's yellow. Oh, oh okay. Uh, is there going to be any dogs outside? Or, you know, is there a gate code when I come in? No gate code. You can come on in. Okay, perfect. Awesome. Now, when I come on in, um, can you do my favor? Yeah, 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 yeah. Can you do my favor? Can you make sure you're outside when I show up? Just so in case, you know, I can see you and can wave. Uh, I'm going to be pulling up in a white uh, uh, Kia Sorento, right? Um, okay. And, and just whatever you do on your call, that's just me kind of like, just kind of, you know, going through a spiel, right? Now, one on the phone call, you must do this before you end the call, right? I'm still on the phone, Mary. Okay. All right, Mary. All right. What's up? Was I Martha or Mary? I don't know what I'm talking about. Mary. That's not sound Mary. What you must do is this before you end the call with Mary or whoever it is you're booking an appointment with is use the technique called takeaway. <laughs> use a technique called the tag away. All right. Now let's go ahead and go ahead and do this. Take away before you end the call. You say, "So Mary, um, will 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 what time? I don't know what time. Will 4 p.m. on the eight still work for you, or would you like to schedule another time?" Now this does not make any sense because you're like, "Well, she just told you she'll be there at 4 p.m. Why in God's name are you asking the same question again?" Understand something. I'm gonna cover it in a little bit, but say, "Hey, Mary, will 4 p.m. on the eight still work for you, or would you like to schedule another time?" And she goes, yeah, absolutely. It's still going to work. Yeah, now you don't have to schedule another time. I'll be there at 4 p.m. and an 8. Commitment. 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 Now, here's the reason why. This is a psychological technique. It's a psychological technique because human beings value what is scarce or we put value to things when they know that we lose it or can lose it. Okay? Now, let's cover why that is, okay? Why do human beings put value to things that are scarce? It's like, think about it. It's like, the, 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 the reason, there's a reason why, for instance, this is an example. You break up with your ex, or your ex breaks up with you, right? You're like, ah, oh, they were toxic. They were toxic. Oh, my God. Worst relationship ever, right? And then a few weeks later, you're like, well, you know, they cooked for me. They smelled nice. They did this. Oh, my God. And then you, and then you start texting and calling them big mistake but then you start texting and calling them because the reason is this is when it's like a human thing is we put value to things that we do not have or we are about to lose or we have already lost that's the way human beings work okay and we're very negative and the human mind is very negativity focused and negative oriented um because that's how you know we're designed to survive for the most part so hence the reason why it's like if the takeaway, it's like there's a reason why people don't act unless they believe that they're going to lose something, right? Like, for instance, most of you marketers out there, they're doing ad, you know, doing building landing pages and selling landing pages. Like, nobody's converting my conversions because why would somebody take action if there is no pain? They have to feel pain because pain is what makes people move, right? And like, for instance, people are not buying from you because they believe that they're going to be alive tomorrow. You need to tell them that they're dying tomorrow. People do not buy from you unless they feel pain. Okay? And in some way, shape, or form, having a belief that the appointment time will be taken from them is an element that creates pain. It's very important. Okay, I hate to say it. I did not design the human race before you guys start coming after me. Emmanuel did not design the human race. If you have a problem with that, take it up with the man upstairs. Okay, You need to reconfirm with them that they will be there. Okay, And once they confirm, you end the call. If it's an, now, if it's a next day appointment, all right, now we're going into some texting tricks and strategies and techniques, okay? So pay attention, okay? If it's a next day appointment, send them this text message the morning of or three to six hours before. I have no clue why I'm raising my voice, but let's get into it. Hey, first name, does appointment time still work for you or would you like to reschedule? Same thing again, we're doing a takeaway. Listen, you will be amazed, amazed by what your show ratio and your show numbers are because people have to what? Reconfirm again because there's an element and an ability that they might lose that. There's a chance that they might lose that appointment. So because you just told them, hey, first thing, does appointment time still work for you? Or would you like to schedule? Instantly they go, oh, actually, you know what? It does still work for me. I actually absolutely totally will still be there. That's the reason why is you send this text message all right that's it Ta-da! the end of the training today guys listen don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos okay that's it for today's training guys and i say enjoy action